praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. Here's the time and date. Continuing to discuss this number 23 revelation in California, New York, and uh, the New World Order system that is plotting and scheming against us and, and how it's all playing out so rapidly in these last days. So I received, a, I received a private message, and I want to thank the sister for it on um, this guy, Jared Kushner, um, residing at 666 uh, Fifth Avenue. And I want to discuss him and his father for a minute here and how I kind of got to this information. I wanted to thank her for uh, sending me that private message. There's so much going on, and I just want to put it out there. That's all I want to do is put the message out there, put the warning out there. I want to go back a little bit regarding this number 23 because I just found this today in preparing to make this video. It's on from September 17th, 2016. I gave a watchman warning, a New York explosion. Now this prophecy did come to pass on the exact street. Please, I'm going to say that again. This prophecy was given beforehand and it did come to pass on the exact same street. This prophecy has been fulfilled already. There's no one that can deny that. And its title is New York Explosion, Chelsea, number 23, and Hidden Codes. Now this is amazing because I've been looking into all these Freemason uh, hidden codes and, uh, and it's been right here. I, I just simply cannot remember every video I made. I can't. Uh, it, it's impossible. So I'm looking at the area of Chelsea neighborhood on West 23rd. Does everybody see that? Now keep look at this area here, Flatiron. Remember we talked about Flatiron? The the Flatiron, that's the the lighthouse um, in Northern California that Obama just uh, wrote a proclamation on to expand and how it's in Trinidad, California, which means Trinity. Wow. And how I believe that they're using hidden codes to reveal their plans. This is just another example. Everybody remember this map? I've been showing it on here for years. Empire State Building. So I believe this is a Central Park in this area. So let me uh, let me see what I was saying here. Let's see right here. Flatiron District in the middle. It even says Barack right here. And here's the Empire State Building. You know, that's the third time I've mentioned Flatiron uh, in, in the last couple of days. It's the truth. So, I want to focus on this area exactly right here in the middle. And we're going to lead up to that. And I'll come back to this here. I... In regards to that area I was just showing, in, in regards to um, the video yesterday regarding the number 23 in New York Avenue, um, which, which I'll show you right here, New York Avenue. I'll play this one first. This is from yesterday, January 16th, 17th, in regards to the inauguration and on the 20th and the day before the 19th, two days from now, the Deplora Ball at the National Press Club in relations to its area of the White House and the Pentagon, and up here being New York Avenue, and I felt it was a warning, New York Avenue, and I mentioned this running down into the area, New York Avenue and then California. So, matter of fact, on the west is California and New York on the right on this map and how this event's coming up. So, there's a lot of strange things going on. <laughs> I didn't touch anything. So, I'm going to play this. Then I'm going to play. So, this was from yesterday. And then I'm going to go back a few months. White House. And then remember when we talked about the East Coast? I showed you West Coast and California. Look at this. New York Avenue. New York Avenue. Okay. George Washington University. Let's go. Let's go back on here. I'm going to disconnect this. 
This thing has been acting strangely lately. It just pauses on its own and stuff. So let's go back to, remember that New York Avenue? Because I think this is also revealing a planned assassination. Because we're going really deep on this. Let's go back to April 23rd, 2016 in regards to New York Avenue. Uh, the title of this video from April, look, 23, is P A Plot and Scheme. Paris, London, New York, United Nations, Obama. And again, we're talking about New York involved in this. Now let's hear. That it comes out to New York Avenue. Mm -hmm. Does everybody see that? New York Avenue. New York Avenue. And then if you pan out, it's like three hours and 16 minutes to Trafalgar Square. I'm probably you see how you see how this is all tying in. the The connection I was making here was to the area I'm showing you there previously, and these arches. This is the tunnel where they said uh, Princess die uh, tragically died, but I believe she was murdered, and that's what I explained in this video. And how it tied into Prince uh, Prince's uh, death, and um, just some amazing revelation came forth. But the, the the context here is 23 in New York Avenue. So let me go forward with this information. I just wanted to show you that things spoken on this channel do come to pass because Jesus Christ spoke them. The devil, you need to know, is a liar, and nothing he says is true. So, what the sister had sent me in regards to um, a pause for concern right now and a cause for concern right now is an, yet another puzzle piece in the New World Order system about to bring this entire nation of America and possibly the world to its knees, just like Jesus said. She had mentioned this uh, Jared Kushner, never heard of him. And uh, how he's Trump's advisor, and I've been looking to this a lot, and uh, how he just he bought the property at 666 Fifth Avenue. And we've been talking about the number of the beast and the six, and the six, and the six, and what they could possibly mean. There's wisdom and, and knowledge, according to Revelation 13, 18, on this. And so I, I looked at this, and just I'll put a link to this so you can... Uh, get some facts, but President-elect Donald Trump uh, over the weekend said his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, who owns the iconic 666 Fifth Avenue building in New York. See, there's that New York, New York, will broker a Middle East peace deal. And then it talks about the Times of London. So, you know, I just casually read this, and then I looked up who he was, and I found some very telling information I want to focus on his dad right now, but I'm going to put a link to this too. So he basically married Trump's daughter and has been given a very powerful position uh, as senior advisor to the president. And uh, he is the one that launched uh, this 666 Fifth Avenue in 2011. And we're going to take a look at that area on Google Earth, and you're going to be amazed. You're going to be amazed. His father, and only the Holy Spirit can lead you into this stuff. His father, the senior advisor to the White House come January 20th, Lord willing, will be this man. So I wanted to look at his father, and uh, this was just Holy Spirit led. I can do nothing on my own. His father was a convicted felon. Now, I want to look at, uh, he founded Kushner Companies, but I wanted to look what his father was about to try to glean some information on what his son might be about. And it was in regards to witness tampering, illegal campaign, uh, campaign contributions, and uh, he served time in federal prison. And after he did all that stuff, he went into real estate. Now, I don't want people to begin to think that I'm on some Trump bash because 
I'm not on a Trump bash. I'm searching out the truth, whether popular or not. My wife and I voted for Trump, and I'm, I am very, very happy that he is president and not Hillary Clinton. But if you go back, you'll find out the Lord told me Hillary Clinton would not. I said this in April of 2016, and you can vet this. Hillary Clinton would not be president. And, of course, it came to pass because why? Because God is not a liar. If the devil had spoken that he, he's a liar, it wouldn't have come to pass. Many major prophets and people with huge channels said Hillary Clinton would win. And she didn't. But, but that's for another day, Lord willing. So, so here's his background. Tax evasion, witness tampering, and time in federal prison as a felon. And then his offspring marries Ivanka Trump, who's also stepping down to get involved in the politics of the administration. And now we have this guy working with Trump and how it relates to 666 Fifth Avenue. And so as, as always, I pulled this up on Google Earth to look for clues and I'm gonna show you some stuff. It's the same neighborhood. Look, hell, it's, I must have shown this map about 12 times on Google in the last four years. It's Hell's Kitchen. Garment District, where we talked about pestilence, and uh, that was the meatpacking district, actually, where we talked about a pestilence. And by the way, a pestilence did hit New York after that was spoken. It was involving cats being under quarantine, and uh, the bird flu's effect on them, and how it's rapidly spreading in New York. They call it the Catopolis. Uh, so I want to look at this area. See Korea, Chelsea. Everybody noticing this area now? Look, Chelsea. Garment District, Koreatown, Tudor, the, the Flat Iron District is in here. I've been mentioning this for years, and it's because, you know, I'm seeking the truth. And, and then you look at it right in front of your eyes. And Roosevelt Island, and then this is Central Park. I have a video on this area, too. Where Remember where those kids allegedly set a bomb off, and there was an explosion in Central Park, just forgotten and buried, right? So it was fireworks or something. You notice anything wrong with this picture that I continue to show over and over? And flat iron is is also in here too. Let's see if I can find flat iron. Shouldn't take too long. Do to... you notice anything wrong with this picture? And if you don't see it, I'm about to explain it. It's basically right down in here somewhere. But um, I don't want to run my own is it's a three six all of them are three six i don't even know why i just have eyes to see and ears to hear and pray that you do too and will receive this message as a warning six 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 remember well here here he is right in the middle the guy that the sister sent me the name of after doing some research is right in the middle of everything i've been warning about for five years right here and it's a six 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 and all of these numbers, I said all of these numbers are three six, three sixes, three sixes, all of them. Does anybody know why these are all three sixes? Is it, you know, I've never seen these red dots before. They've been recently added, is, is all I know. Or is it that the, I mean, somebody let me know why are all of these three sixes? All of them. There's 44 right here. The bottom line is there's a terrorist attack being perpetrated as a, it's going to be a false flag brought on just by everybody I've been telling you about. And it's uh, to bring an end to this free world we live in and bring everybody into slavery of the mark of the beast in the new world order. It's all been planned. It's all set in place. There's no stopping about. It was prophesied and I'm just showing you areas. And uh, the beauty of being a follower of Christ is that we get this information in advance. We are not in darkness. So here is yet another person to add into the puzzle that ties in with the U.S. government and Donald Trump himself. Like it or not, and his father's background, and how he's talking about peace in the Middle East. You just can't deny this or dispute this stuff when it's placed right in front of you. I thank God. Thank God today that I'm awake. God bless you all. 
I pray you glean something from this and comment and share it with everybody because we're running out of time. Amen.